I don't even know how the, the chat devolved to Britney Spears, but I'm just going to hang out here. And uh, I've pretty much had Taylor Swift stuck in my head for oh, a couple weeks now. So a few weeks with brief breaks to get other things stuck in my head. But the Taylor Swift earworm is mighty. I don't think I want to trade it out for Britney. Oh no. Ah, changes in tempo and range. That makes sense, Turgeon. Yep. Yeah, we invoked the ashy feel of black and then, then the internet crashed on us. I feel like the uh, I feel like Twitch is being run by a necromancer today. Wanted us to use the number thirteen, and then it was complaining when we um, implied that the ashy feel of black was uh, a detriment. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a little closer just so we can see a little better. I'm going to add my shadows down here on the gold also. I just find with hiccups that I take a deep breath and then I push out as much air in my exhale as I possibly can. And after a couple of those, my hiccups will go away. But you have to expel a lot of air on the exhale. So that will, that will work for some people sometimes. More hiccup tricks. We have everything on this stream. Little bits of uh, rivets to hold those guys together. <laughs> I'm sorry, Quindy. I'm sorry about the app. Hopefully, hopefully soon. I'm going to have to um, find some time this weekend to get the new computer up to, up and running with um, the settings and everything. I get to redesign my, uh, the, the plus side to this and the minus side is that I have to redesign my um, my look, right? I'm gonna have to redo, redo my scenes and everything with a new OBS. But this does give me an opportunity to uh, to go for a new look if I want. So I have to look at it that way. You just hold your breath. Yeah, holding your breath can also, it's the same thing. It starves you of oxygen, right? Exhaling extremely can also do the same thing. So yeah, yeah, there's all sorts of tricks. Good luck. Good luck getting rid of them. They're annoying. these scroll tubes. <clears throat> I remember Kung Fu, but like I was little enough that and it wasn't something my parents were into. So they would, when they would leave stuff on the, sh on the TV, it usually wasn't that. Even then I had my mana addiction though. I like remember like shows that had too much, like there were too much sci-fi and not enough. I always preferred the magic shows. I like Doctor Who, but I was not fanatical about it. Oh, bummer. 
Yeah, Quinny, that sounds really annoying. I can't wait till your internet is back. I hate to see my friends suffering. So a little bit of a reflective light. We've got a um, stronger highlight up top here. Bring it down. Got to make sure my shadow is pretty strong. I'm so, I am a Town Baker fan, but I am also, mostly I am a K9 fan, predictably. <laughs> mostly, mostly just melodramatic about it. The human, the human condition, like if we had a planet sport, the planet sport of Earth would be complaining. Because humans just like to bitch about stuff. David and I agreed on this the other night. Humans just love to complain. There we go. So we've got the sides done. Now we need to do some little bit of work here on the end caps. And a little secondary highlight here. A little bit too much highlight there, so I'm thinning it down. Yeah. Yeah, phones, uh, Twitch's phone app is crap. I used to watch a lot of Overwatch on it. Like when I was uh, finishing up my day at work and just like mixing stuff or putting st getting stuff uh, sorted, I would put on the game. go got a couple little details there now I need reflected light down under here made progress catching up on my patreon yesterday so now I am hoping to get significant progress on my ten dollar tier today. I might have to work a bit on the weekend though. It's always dicey when I do that because I get so tired during the week if I do. Okay, so I want a stronger light up top, so I'm going to pop a little bit of pure white onto it. So that my light is consistent. I do want a little more yellow up here. I think I've, I've lost my yellow. This is the uh, thing that happens with NMM a lot. If you don't pay attention, you'll cover up all your highlights with like um, a color that's close enough to white that you lose the gold. So you always have to kind of go back in and take a look at that if you start losing your yellow. And 
and uh, bring it back in a little. Glaze over a little bit of your white. Because you can look at a color and it'll look like a pale, pale yellow, but when you put um, something like that on a surface that's this small, that yellow, there's so much more white in it that it just doesn't translate as yellow. <clears throat> no interesting animals out my back uh, window today. We are still not done with this. Gold takes a while. Doing NMM on a model with lots of fiddlies takes a while. The metal version, I assume, yeah. Yeah, she's a good model. She's always been a good model. New one's good, too. Got this kind of line border here separating the bottom of this cloak or dress, the hem of the dress. We have a little bit of a cutout here. Uh oh, somebody thinks it's almost time. Ah, she she skipped us. Good. I was gonna say. I'm gonna put off her W A L K today because uh, I didn't get those her or her treat in the freezer fast enough. It needs at least three hours to freeze up. Otherwise, it'll be very easy for her to consume. Hi there. Oh, you did come in, huh? You did come in, huh? Yeah. You're saying, hey, Mom, is it time yet? Is it time yet, Mom? Yeah, little dog. It is not time. It is not time. There's at least 15 more minutes. There's at least 15 more yeah, you can get pettins, but but you cannot get more. Yeah. Hi there, face. Speckle head. Hi. She's got speckles, sable speckles on her head. Hi, yeah, you do have sable speckles. Yes, you do. Do you want to come up? Yes. You can come up if you want. It's up to you. No, you want to paw me until I come down? <laughs> yeah. Hi there, Kiki. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Dog distraction. Dog distraction. Mwah. Yes, two can kiss. That's right. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, you face licker. You face licker. Good girl. All right, now go settle. Work, work. We're almost done, but you've got to give me 15. Go settle, Bubba. Yeah. Yeah. In keeping with um, in keeping with her Cerberus nickname, uh, she has now become, she's gone from Bubba to Beelzebubba. Yeah, Beelzebubba. And don't you dare dig at my carpet. If you dig at my carpet, you're exiled. Kiki. I'm waiting to see if she is going to be a dork. Uh, okay, exiled. Oh, I'm sorry, bonkers. I'm sorry you bonked your head. Yeah, you're okay. I'll be right back. Yeah. Just hang out. I'll be right back. Yep, I've exiled her though, because she was, she's like, she's the kind of dog who, when she wants something and you're ignoring her, she'll purposefully get into trouble to get your attention. She definitely has that MO, so had to exile her quickly before she did, dug a hole in my rug. Yeah, Beelzebubba. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to start my Kiki bust, i.e. my Cerberus bust. I didn't, I can't see if it has fur, but it has fur. I'll have to um, give it a sable pattern.
Yep, yep. <laughs> it's your friendly weekly book reminder from Turgeon. <laughs> yep, yep. Yes, we are still looking for more reviews for West of the Moon on Amazon. We, I think we have four. Do we have four, Turgeon? Oh, yeah, still have four. Okay, but thank you, Zachariah, for getting yours in. So, yes, if you have read my books and you thought they um, they were good, then please, we would, we would appreciate it hugely if you have the time to leave a review. And you do not have to write anything if you, if you feel like that would be too much effort. You can just leave a star review. That's okay. I have a couple of very well-written reviews on there, so I don't need a lot. You know, I don't require a written review. But if you want to leave a little short note about what you especially liked about the book, that's cool too. Yeah, Kiki will just dig at stuff. Yeah, right, right, Quindy, yep, yep. Yeah, I've had a cat that did that as well. They learn. Good girl, Kiki, do you have your chew? Good girl! That's why I try to give her attention. Like, I always tell David we've got to try to also give her attention when she's doing really good stuff. So. So we've got the bottom part of this starting to come up here right yeah yep yep dogs be that way use that as an accent color actually that's a good thought so since there are these cutouts here on the corners of the, um, the outer row I think I might uh, make those red it will give me another another dot of that accent color and it also will allow me to put a little bit out front here where I wanted to have some more red because it doesn't, it just seems boring to me to make those inset areas the same color as the gold around them. So we'll block this in in white first because that is going to make our red show up. And I haven't lined this one, so I need to. So then those will also be touches of red, just like the bookmark. So it'll help move her red hair to the bookmark to down here. It'll help move the eye around the model. <clears throat> And if I need a line, I need to make my liner a little bit darker. So I will be again streaming tomorrow on my own channel at 3.30 p.m. USA Central Time. I will be working on Albert. He will continue to work on feathers um, and blocking in the feathers on other parts of the Albert that are going to be that color. And uh, we might get to some fur texture. I expect us to spend most of our time on feathers. I had a moment yesterday where I realized in the new book that I was not um, showing the likable side of the character. <laughs> the main character for this one is Tor, who's the young, youngest brother in the, uh, the first two books. Seven years have passed and he is now 17, almost 18. And I realized that uh, There are times when you do that with a character where you you know that the character has some really good attributes, but you realize that like as you introduce them, that you're not showing any of those attributes. They're like in your head, but they're not on the page. And I'm like, I need to do something about that.
It's just funny. It's actually a thing I can't think of a um, of an equivalent for in mini painting. Except unless it's in like dioramas. It would have to be story related. Oh, it's true. It's true. Well, and he's... Tor has a lot of issues. If you think about what happened to his family when he was a pretty impressionable 10-year-old. He has a lot of issues. He has, he has very um, PTSD type of uh, issues. He's got, he's, he's going to be working on some of those issues in the book. It's kind of his journey along with all the other crap that's happening. All right, just touching up a little bit here. Yeah. Yeah, I like him. He's, um, I like having, like, sometimes I feel like in, in YA fantasy, it's just too easy for characters to just embrace the magic. And, uh, and because of that, I feel like, like, I didn't set out to write Sadis and Tor that way, but they are definitely the members of this family that, like, didn't ask for it, didn't want it, right? And so... It's been interesting to write them because it's not an easy, it's not an easy step for them. Auto, auto, uh, callers, auto, auto dialers, maybe Fendrick. Or somebody who accidentally typed the number wrong and noticed it in time instead of calling you. <clears throat> but yeah, so they do have people in my books that, that, you know, when exposed to the magic, embrace it, right? Definitely. Ash would be one of those. But those are the people like who've wanted magic all their lives, right? Who've looked for magic. Who've wished for magic. Yeah, the egret, egret variety hour definitely more likely. Yes. Yeah, because she's not going to uh, let Quindy. Uh, not give attention to her for that long. So she's going to take over the show. <laughs> She's a monkey cat, huh? All right. Just kind of like refining some of this area around here, adding in little details. I start up by just blocking in where my highlights and shadows are, and then I start doing a little bit of blending. It's a good time. Okay. A few more minutes. We started late. But yeah, we'll have fun with some uh, owl bear feathers tomorrow.
I'm afraid I'm, I'm like totally like thinking I need to, cause I was going to do a little owl bear idols on the base of this owl bear. And then I realized maybe in STLs, somebody has done stone idols that I could adapt, like print and then just modify. That would save me a little bit of work. So I might need to go looking. Might need to do some printing this weekend, maybe. But then I'm going to be tempted to print my Kiki um, bust. And I, and I shouldn't do that yet because I'm not. Uh, I want to spend more time on the ones that I have already. <laughs> yes, when mommy, when mommy is busy, that's when the needy, the needy cat pops up. And then when you have time for them, the needy cat and the needy dog go far away. That's not true with Kiki, though. She, uh, if, if David gets off the computer and starts talking to her, she will grab her toy and bring it to him right away so that they can play tug. She was, she was like casting around aimlessly last night in the room because David had stopped, uh, stopped painting and was talking to her, but her ball strap wasn't in the room. And she was like looking for it. She's like, where is it? Where is it? Usually we keep one in the back room so that she has one right there. Because all she can think about is play with daddy, play with daddy. There we go. So just a little bit of not just painting it blocky, but leaving some negative space makes it look more interesting. Yeah, Kiki is like that. When David and I are having a really like avid conversation, Kiki will start acting out because she's like, we're not looking at her. Such a silly dog. I've actually never had a Shiloh do that. This is purely a Kiki quirk. Okay, we're about to the point where I'm gonna stop. We won't get the rest of this gold done. We got a long way though. We still have to do the sleeve. We still have to do um, under reflection on the bottom of the book um, and a bit on the front here. So we still have probably another stream of gold um, and I need to do silver as well here. And then I need to decide on the color for the pot here. Why well, might just go black or neutral with it um, just because we don't want to put more colors on just for the, uh, the sake of it. And then we got to do the, spy, the eyeglass here, the magnifier. But otherwise, we made good progress today, and we know what we're going to put in our book. Oh, and the glasses. I've got to do our goggles as well. So we are progressing, though. Our gold is coming along. It looks a lot more finished on the back now. So, yeah. Attention, attention, attention. Right. Their brains never shut down. Oh, and I know she's capable of chilling because when I'm out of the room and inaccessible, she chills perfectly. But the minute the human is in the room, the human must be engaged. So yeah, there we uh, there we have it. We have uh, we have progress. I'm gonna put away some of these paints for once so that I get a little bit more of a open area around my. I'm terrible about this. I'm terrible about building up paint around my area and just generally uh, having too much debris to feel good about where, where, how I'm working. There we go. There we go. Pop those over here. And I don't know. Oh, yeah, that goes there. Rainliner. There we are. There we are. Perfect. All right. Reaperland should be on, but we don't know for sure. And, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, I'll bear tomorrow, and then uh, on Monday, on Monday, we'll begin our halloween -y. Get back to our Halloween-y uh, witchy. And I'll probably block in more of her 
I'm just like looking at it going, I need to nail the orange right for the, uh, the rest of the model. Probably we'll go a little lighter with the pumpkin for that reason. So yep, we'll be doing that on Monday. I hope you all enjoy the stream and have a lovely weekend. I'm going to have some work scheduled, but I'm hoping to get some fun in as well. Yes, you have a great afternoon also, Church. I'll see you tomorrow on stream and hopefully see a bunch of the rest of you as well. Have a good one, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.